Welcome to another gameplay session. Today we're going to be playing a new format called Acroma Heroes. So Chris and I have both got our hero decks ready, haven't we? Yep, we have. So yeah, so a lot of the videos you guys have seen on the channel so far have been our uh, canvas format, um, which is the, the first one that was released. And our next evolution is the heroes format. And we're about to show off a, a game of that today. So Jack, what's different about heroes than regular canvas? Okay. Mode? So there's a little bit more flexibility in Heroes. Um, so in, in a standard canvas game, you would have a 30 card palette. You would, would only be able to have one legendary and four rares in that palette. But what you get with Heroes is a 40 card palette. Yep. And you can have as many, uh, you can have two of any card you want within there. So you can have two of different rares, yep. two of different legendaries, all from one realm. Still has to stay within a realm, but you've got a lot more flexibility of adding lots of different uh, great cards which makes for a very powerful game um, and so on top of having a 40 card palette yep. we've also added more shards to your bank so in a standard game of, of canvas you would have start with 10 shards and either get your opponent down to zero get yourself up to 30 but in a game of heroes you start with 15 shards and you get your opponent down to zero get yourself up to 40 so yep. you've got a little bit more room there that's right so i guess the next thing that i'll talk about with heroes is heroes is gonna integrate our app a lot more so in the app when you start a game of heroes it asks you to select your avatar um also you guys can get some avatars through scanning cards and there's others available for our purchase in the shard shop and whichever avatar you choose you must have that card in your deck well they um, and also to go with the avatars they need to be of heroic characters yes, don't all they? the selections are heroic characters that's right so and then you would need to have that character or heroic because the legendary locations are also an option yep. you need to make sure that card is in your deck um, and each avatar has its own hero power so it has an ability that's like a once per turn something that affects the game or a lot or a passive ability that that uh, you know that, that um, affects the game as it goes on each turn and so the app is much more integrated and crucial into Heroes. It's almost like having a card on the canvas yes. with you all the time. So it has an ability yep. and that ability that, that happens in, in the app is stays there the whole time. But we can show yep. you about how that kind yep. of works throughout the game. Cool. So do you want to talk about your deck that you've got yep. your Heroes deck? So. Yep, so I've got a, uh, a Heroes deck from the Warriors of Wishworlds. This is a palette that is a homebrew. Again, this is part of it is kind of make your own palettes, see what you can come up with. Um, this is all about the Brisgarvi. So I'm going to be using Gunnar of Brisgarvi as my uh, hero, otherwise known to those close to me as Gundog Millionaire. Yep. <laughs> he is going to be uh, leading the pack when yep. it comes to the Brisgarvi. Um, and yeah, he's got a pretty cool uh, hero power, which I'll talk about in a minute. Yep. So mine is Tenebris here. So you know, so I've got Teneris, I've got a mixture of dragons and drakes, which will all become clear soon. Uh, just to note, obviously, I've got Teneris, well, I've got two copies of Teneris. Where's Teneris from? He is from Siege of Draco Temple. But I also have, so I've got Tengri in my deck as well, and Materno, so you, you can uh, have other heroic characters, of course, in your deck. Um, but the one that you're gonna feature, um, you, must, you must have the one you're featuring as your avatar. So. So the interesting thing with that is that I could change, or you could, you yep. know, in another game, I might not want Gunnar to be my hero, I might choose Brynhild or someone else, because if they're in my deck, if I've got them in my palette, and I've got the avatar, I could choose that for a different game. That's right. All right. All right. Shall we load into a game? I think so. So, so you'll see that there's a new uh, Acroma Heroes card within the app. So you just hit play on there. Play. And at this point, it will ask you to choose your avatar before you get into the game. So, Tenebris. Wow. And I hope go. And so, it does tell you your hero ability there, uh, but we'll show it when we get into the game. So let's wait for it to be available. Create a game. So this is part of the new um, update to the app. Anyone who's been playing it um, previously or seen some of our videos about Curdle Hill and Draco would have noticed that we had a different format to be able to uh, load multiplayer. Now we have a lobby system where you go in um, and someone sets up a room and then other players can join that room. Okay, it's my turn. Okay, so on the device you'll see that on the app we now have a little star symbol next to your shard bank. So when you tap that, 
it will show you the special ability of your hero. So for me, Gunnar is uh, whenever I deploy a Brizgravi card, I can draw a card. So Ooh, very strong. It's going to be very helpful. And for Tenebris, all is clear. Each dragon character on your canvas is a Drake character in addition to its original type. So I'm going to be looking for some Drake synergies for myself. Okay. So. All right. So five cards. Everything else about um, the cards, in terms of how many you have in your hand, stays the same as a standard game of canvas. Um, and, and the other thing that we'll be doing with this game um, is we have updated the rules since those first couple of videos, so we'll be working with the new rules. Um, so that would be that the deploying the attack step are merged into the main step. Um, so you ca your characters can't attack on their first turn, but you can choose whether you want to deploy, say, objects onto a character before it attacks and things like that. That's the biggest change. Um, any other change? There are a few other tweaks, and if we come across them, we can talk yeah, about them during the game. We will do. Okay, so as this is a two player game, I'm not going to draw a card. Nope. Because uh, obviously the first step is normally draw a trade, but in a two player game, the first player will skip that. But it's okay. I'm going to start with something incredibly horrible and controversial here. Here's a Tengri. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. So you cannot uh, deploy actions, locations, or characters during the next turn. So that's pretty much limiting you to nothing. So I can play <laughs> objects on nothing. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. And the second card I'm going to play is just this Draco Welp for two more. So that's going to let me, if I have another dragon character on the canvas, I can draw a card. And I'm going to play another one. Mm. Another dragon character canvas, draw a card. So, five. I do not like this. That's five. Uh, yep, so that leaves me on six. It leaves me on six, which I'm not actually super happy about. So I'm going to do a trade. Did you do your resolve? Let's do my resolve, which is just my plus two. Good spot. Got my resolve. And I'm going to trade Tengri. Oh. Seems crazy, but I've already got one Tengri here. So the same rule applies to normal canvas, yeah. which is that you can't have more than one of any heroic character on yeah. your canvas so at the same time. Easy to see here. Tangri, heroic, Draco Welp, not heroic. But you could have a different heroic character. I could. Yep. Right, you can go for it. Oh, great. I'm looking forward to this turn. I will start <laughs> by drawing a card. Yep. And then I will finish my turn by drawing a card. Good times to be had. Right, I'm gonna. So that is all thanks to Tengri, <laughs> because effectively what Tengri came in with is what we're calling the bubble. So yeah. he created a bubble over my canvas that meant I was no longer allowed to deploy any actions or locations or characters. Um, and there's only four card types we have. We have action, objects of power, location and character. Uh, actions you play and they're like spells or events. You play them, you instantly do what it says and you put it in the dregs characters and locations they get played onto your canvas much like the characters that chris has got here um, and then objects can be played if they get attached to a character so obviously because i can't have any characters or locations down i can't play any objects which is the only card i was allowed to play with Tendry. <laughs> so the other thing that we haven't mentioned yet is just to talk about the shard value of cards so yeah. The triangles in the hexagon here, every triangle represents a shard. Yep. The gray ones are empty and colorful ones are full. Yep. So you have to pay from your shard bank the amount of colorful or black shards that are in a, tr in a hex from your shard bank to be able to play that card, don't you? You do, yeah. All right, okay. So back I'll on with your turn. Draw a card. So the bubble is gone. Now, next turn I'm allowed to do what I want to do, aren't I? Oh, <laughs> do to me now. I'm not. I'm going to pay one for a Draco Fledgling, and your action immediately gets me one for each other dragon on a canvas. Three. Okay. And then I'm going to play, I'm sorry about this one, Acrom Haven. One, two, three, four. So if I just double check my hero ability, each dragon character on your canvas is a Drake character in addition to its original type. Right. And then I will go to my resolve. So I've got a plus two. And I've got this here. So I've got steel X. X is the number of drakes on your canvas. Four drakes. 
So steal and drain, yep. they are two abilities that affect your opponent's shard bank. So Chris is gonna steal shards from my bank and they're gonna go into his. Yep. Drain would mean that they would leave my bank, but you wouldn't get them. That's right. Well, that's nasty. Uh, at the end of my turn, draw a card. I'm sorry about this start here. It's a little bit offensive. So. You are not sorry. <laughs> Don't even pretend. I'm gonna start by trading, imbued in the forges oh. for four. Then we got to do a hold a tail whip on your Tengri. One, Ooh. two, three, four, five. So what Erase saying? a character yep. and a location Ooh. from any canvas and gain the shards from one of them. So I'll have that five shards basically back. Basically a free tail whip. Yep. Oh, Tengri and Haven. Oh, did I play a Chris Grabby card? No, I didn't. <laughs> so I can play two more cards in my turn. One thing about the Tengri is you let you get a lot of cards to start with. One, two, one, three, one, Brynhild. One, two, she gives me steel too, and all characters on my canvas get rage. So the key word from Warriors of Wishwell for the for the Brisgarvi is rage, which means that one character can attack again. So an additional time on top of their attack. Uh, and obviously what Brynhild here is saying is she's gonna give all characters on my canvas the ability to attack one additional time. And she's gonna be flinging a catapult. Ooh. So, she's now got an object attached to her. That means that the strength number in the middle of a character gets added with the strength number of the object to power. So she was three, now she's five. Yep. And this Lacringi catapult also comes in with an action. So actions, much like, much like action cards, you do what it says as it comes in. In this case, drain two shards from any card. So the shards are the shard value. It also represents the health of the card. Yep. So I can drain two from one of your Draco Welps. This one specifically? Specifically that one. <laughs> That's my three cards. Now I will resolve. So I will steal two yep. from Chillman. And then I will gain plus one. Nice. Um, puts me on 13. And then I will draw a card. I feel I've balanced it out a little bit there. Your turn. Yeah. I'm gonna draw a card. Okay, all right. So, gonna be a lot here, right. Monastery Nest. It's not good when you start with that sentence. Cost me three. Chroma Storehouse. Ooh. Cost me two. And then I gain two for each card with a colour on a canvas, with a choice of colours. So I'm going to choose the, the dark blue. One, two, three, four. So that gets me eight shards. Mm. Uh, the other storehouse, you've got a story of chroma somewhere. So I'm going to mm. store it here. And that's going to get me ten shards. I'm going to use the same colour. Okay, six. That's my three cards, my locations. i do my resolve. Three, four, five. Seven. Wow. And I'm gonna draw a card. That's a big hit. You're right, you're going, you better hope you can do something about locations. So. Yep. Right, so I'm on 13. I'm gonna draw a card. Good old gunner. Right. One, two, three, four. So, oh, do you draw a card each time you play the brisk I card? I do. Maybe? So, oh, I could have drawn one last turn. <laughs> and then I will draw one for gunner. <laughs> and then I will play, um, I will play a Scarby Berserker for two. Yeah. Um, and I will play a Briscarvi Cave Dwelling for three, which says, oops, draw a card, Briscarvi, yeah. draw a card, Briscarvi, <laughs> action, find a Sama Troll with shard value four or less. So find means I can look through my palette, for a Sama Troll, uh, put in, reveal him so that you will see him, and then put him in my hand. So can you choose Gunner, even though you've got a Gunner down? I can choose to have a Gunner in my hand, sure. although I can't play another Gunner if I've got one down already. Okay. So we're gonna go for, um, we're gonna go for the, Another Brisgarby Berserker. Right. And then shuffle up my palette. You've it. still got some attacking to do here, should you wish. So I'm going to put Brisgarby Berserker in my hand. I can attack with Brynhild. 
and get rid of the well the fledgling sorry yeah. and then i don't have to lose my objects and then i need to choose what i'm doing with all of my stuff here yeah. so i've got steel one two three four so i'll do that and then on top of that You've i've got, got game for the catapult game one for catapult and then gunner gunner is plus one for each card in your canvas with any, any cyan or ice blue or minus one drain one for each card on the canvas with any uh, black in it any acorn so i'm going to do the minus thing because i need to get you down yeah so that is one two three four so i will drain an additional four shards from your bank uh, i am down to nine so i will trade uh another brynhild over here mm. for three okay your go. I've done all my big stuff last time. I need to see what I can find. Right, I'm going to start by drawing a card. Mm. Right, I'm going to uh, attack this catapult. Attack this, this. Oh, catapult's gone. Then, so has the whelp. So Brynhild is fine because yep. Brynhild didn't get hurt by the whelp, but the catapult had to go. Right, for two. Impia Strike. Mm. Action. Choose a player. You must erase a card. Hmm. Be erasing a berserker. Good. And then I will go to my resolve. Three, four, five, six, seven. And a minus one. Yep. And I think I'm gonna draw another card. Okay, here you go. Okay, so I'm going to trade a Brisgarvi Raider for three. Poor Impius, he's not long for this world. Impius <laughs> does not have much to live for these days. In fact, we'll just, Gunner will remove Impius as quickly as possible. <clears throat> then we're gonna play Brisgarvi Samatotem for three. Yeah. Brisgarvi Hunter for three. You need to draw cards for those. Ooh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's a lot of cards. It is. And I will play a Brisgarvi Berserker for two. Draw another card. Oh. So I now have a lot of Sama trolls down, which is <laughs> great shards, for me. My precious shards. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got uh, we've got. Let's do the Brisgarvi Sama totem first. So that's Steel X, and that is uh, X equals the number of Sama trolls on my canvas, which I've got one, two, three, four Sama trolls. Yep. So one, two, three, four stealing. Yeah. We've got still one here, still another two here, drain one here, still another one here, and then let's do drain one for each card with any uh, acre minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I was on 30 and now I'm on 14. Oh, that's how 14. these You're games of heroes well. go. You're and then I will well. end my turn. Um, by discarding the Kringy Forge for four. Trading, sorry. Okay. All right, I didn't want to. Over to you. I didn't want to have to do this, but I think I want to have to. Right, draw a card. I am going to play Tenebris. Uh oh. And raise Gunner. Mmm. Then, going to play. Draco Graveyard for two shards. And once per turn, I may discard two cards. So discard these two. And then let's we dig for one and get back Tengri. Are you playing him, are you? Tengri. Down to one shard. But I resolve <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Drain one, and the famous Tenebrous Steel three. I'm out of juice and cards, sure <laughs> we'll go. But you can't play anything, I so can't. soon in comes, look at this combo, it's like a mirror image. I oh, know, nasty combo. Right, I will draw a card. Yep, so remember, uh, you can't deploy actions, locations, or characters. I can only deploy objects. But you've got a chance to do some attacking if you want to stack up. But it's, um, it's, a, it's a two for a one, whatever way you look at it, I think. Yeah. 
You're still draining quite a lot though, even without... without no, if I get rid of the... Uh, if I have to attack with my Fizgarvies, then that's not so good. They will both take out a Tengri. So that's three. Yep. So just that works. Go. Yep. And then that leaves Tengri down on two shards. Yep. And then he will go in for two. They both have rage, but the problem is with the characters that I have that have rage, it doesn't help because they're weaker than they're the no character tangries. they're attacking. Right. Leaving poor old Brynhild on her own. Yep. Then we will resolve, steal, steal one, two, and then steal one for the Summer Totem and yep. steal one for the Briscavi Cave Dwelling. Yep. Draw another card. Your turn. All right, I'll draw a card. <laughs> I mean, I have to do it, really. I'm going to pay one for the Mirror Sanctum hmm. to copy uh, a Chrome Storehouse. Yep. So when it comes in, I get the action of... So it's only six. So you're choosing what colour? Uh, the dark blue okay. for these, these three. So. so actually, can I choose the light blue and get itself? Mm, yeah, I can, can't I? Let's choose the light blue. Yeah. And we get these four. Then Tenebris gets Takes out Brynhild. And then in my resolve, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got a minus one and a steel three. Your go. Okie dokie. Can I be able to play things this time though? I will. Start by drawing a <laughs> card. Do the obligatory Sama Smash. So raise all cards and other canvases with a shard value of four or less. Luckily that doesn't touch my... Nope. Four or way. less. Four oh, or less. My that location gets, yes. combo. No. Combo of locations <laughs> removed. You smashed a lot of things. And then you can have a cave spider. Oh, you, I don't know. <laughs> that's, if a cave spider kills Tenebris, that's going to be a sad day. And for three, I will play another Brisgarvi cave dwelling to find a Samatrol with shard value four or less. In which case, I will find a Gunnar. Yep. Shuffle You up. can afford to play him just about. You'll be down to... No, I, play you, three one, cards. Two, you're right, you're right. Uh, so I will resolve. So I'm going to steal one, two, and then that's it. Over to... Yep. I will draw a card. Over to you. Um, did you draw one for your cave dwelling as well? Oh, no, I didn't. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to have to do it. For two, research three. So research is a keyword in the Draco realm where this has got a research through it, so I can look at the top three cards, and then if I want to keep them in my hand, I can pay for them, one shard each. So I'm gonna keep one, two, three. Keep all of these three. I love that, because what I like about research is you're kind of researching the cards at the top, and then if you want, pay, keep them, otherwise you just had a little look. And put bear it in mind, that was one of my cards for this turn. Yes. Uh, research three. <laughs> <laughs> I want to look at three more. Fair enough. One, two, three. Not what I was hoping for. Not what I was hoping for. <clears throat> I'm gonna. Uh, one, two. Oh, that's right, wrong way. One, two, three. I'm gonna keep all of these as well. And then I'm going to play uh, Ruba Draco for two. At the end of my turn, resolve for game two. You don't want, you don't want to attack the Cave Spider? No. So Cave Spider is poisonous. I'm going to steal the three. Cave Spider is poisonous. So poisonous means even though he's only one strong, he will <laughs> defeat any uh, character that attacks him or that he attacks. So I know Tengri is going to die, but I'd rather keep Tenebris. him and get... Tenebris. so I was going to die, but I would rather keep him and get my steel three, and then you you could be the bad guy and kill him. <laughs> right, uh, and then at the end of my turn, draw. Ah, you okay. Okay, start by trading. Yeah. Imbued in the forges gives me four shards in my bank. Cave Spider will kill Pentenebris. <laughs> 
You've done your job, Cave Spider. You did well. <laughs> Great job, Spider. Yes. Gunnar will come down for four. Um, and I'm going to just give him uh, a fishing sphere just to make sure he's a little bit stronger. So he's now six. And then we're going to do resolve. So steal one for cave dwelling, steal another one for cave dwelling, minus one for Grisgarby fishing spear, and then we're going to do minus one for each carpet black with acorn in it. So one, two, three, four, five. Keeping you down, but I'm also low, so I'm going to have to trade a Grisgarby raider at the end of my turn as well. I played a Grisgarby fishing spear. <laughs> you did. Your right. turn. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play Tenebrous. Oh, are you joking? Sorry. So when a character is erased, yep. the object is erased with it. A Draco. And a Hatchet. And then in my resolve, I've got one, two, three, four, five. And a Steel three. Go. Oh, sorry. Draw, and then you'll go. Okay. So this one's pretty finely balanced at the moment. Yes. You've got a lot of cards there. You're not can't afford a lot. So I'm going to start by trading a Vizgravi Hunter for three. And then I'm going to play Solvig for six. Yeah. He's a nice big chunky one. Um, and then, so his ability, well, his game text is if you have three or more trolls in your canvas, Solvig cannot be erased. Also, during resolve step, steal two and draw a card. So at the moment, I can't do. He is a Samma troll, so I draw a card. <laughs> oh no, it's not Samma, is it? Briscarvi. Oh, yeah. nearly got a card on the here done. for the law guys up there. Samma is kind of the race, yep. and Briscarvi is the tribe. Yes. So I nearly tried to get myself a card yeah. when that was not viable. Um, so I will steal one, two, and then I will steal another one for the Samma totem. Yeah. Uh, and then I will need to trade this Briscarvi spear for two. Okay. Over to you. Right. I'm sorry to do this to you, but I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play this for one. Uh, yeah, this for one. And then Acrum Haven for uh -oh. four. That's not good for me. And then resolving. Deal X a number of drakes on your canvas. One, two, three, four, five drakes. Yeah. And, and then. And Tenebris with his steel. The final blow. Oh. That was a go. close one. That was good. That was yeah. swing, swinging around all over the place. Yes. Yeah, so I hope you guys saw, like, for those that have played canvas games, it, it feels a lot more powerful. There's some yes. bigger cards, like, you can play more of your legendaries. Everything feels more powerful. I'm saying it's, it's hence like, the reason it's the heroes games. Yep, and I'm saying it wasn't easy for either of us to win, and it's very swingy, and there was big chunks of shards being gained and being stolen yep. each turn. And so we're just hoping that everybody you know it's a real fun way to play. Yeah, this um, is quickly becoming my favourite format to yeah. build a deck, have a go, you know, really explore what you can do and yeah. see how powerful some of these palettes can I be. Was, I really hope it was fun to watch because it was fun to play, that's for sure. Brilliant, so. yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks, guys.